Hey, what's up? And welcome to Jeff Exclamation Point. It is time for some wine. So how you guys doing today? I am hanging out in Kentucky with my, uh, my BFF Don. And we are at Hubert Winery, which is actually home of one of my all-time favorite wines. And uh, this is probably the only spot I know where you can buy it. And I'm gonna buy a lot of it, but let's go check it out. All right, so we're here, wine heaven. And of course, never far from me, is the one and only Dom. <laughs> Although it's weird with the little fuzzy thing on yeah. it right now. Yeah, <laughs> I know, it's the, uh, helps with the, the muffle, voice. yeah, with the it's sound. Awesome, no, it's like it? the little windsock for it. Wish you guys could see what this looks like. It looks like a Muppet now. It's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but anyways, what are you looking at? I was looking at this Terminette that I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Aromas of honey, peach, and pear. I'm like, complex yet elegant, just like me. <laughs> It is currently strawberry season here, so we might be picking some strawberries. Not too sure about that. It is raining outside. Well, not really raining right now, but has been raining, so we'll see if that's actually going to happen. But I'm going to spend some money, and it's not going to be pretty. Not at all. But later on, when I'm in the wine, it'll be worth it. So we made it to the top floor, and up here is a little gift shop. It used to be nothing but wine oriented. But this is where we are going to do some wine tasting, and maybe some other tasting. All right, let's face it. I'm gonna get plastered. These are gonna be sweet ones up here. These are infusions and ports. And then blueberry liqueur is gonna be, uh, it's a liqueur, it's 76 proof. This starts your higher proof. These are 36 proof. Um, grappa, the Italian brandy, it's 80 proof. Um, and then the rest of our brandies to the front reserve. And then vodka gin and the barrel finished gin. Then we have the Carl T. Bourbon. Um, this is a blended, blended barrels. And down here are single barrel bourbons and rice. And then um, these are the um, brand new ones that are out, the old, the old Rick House rye. Mm -hmm. And we have a rockin' rye that's a little sweet, um, made uh, from back in the day. They added rock candy to it. Ooh. And then we have an infused uh, whiskey. It's a blackberry whiskey. Okay. And then there's our runs. Yeah. I definitely want to try the rock and rye. The spiced rum. The spiced rum? Spiced rum for her. It's a good spiced rum. Um, the blackberry whiskey. Blackberry? Okay. Right. And how many is and One more. One more? You want to try um, bourbon? You said bourbon. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, so which one do you recommend? This is 95 proof if you want cut. This is the one that's been cut. Yeah. These are single barrels down here. These are all different, different ones of single barrels. Okay. You know what? Let's just, let's just go for it. Okay. Yeah. Carl T. So this one okay. um, is 90, 95 proof. Um, this is around two, this is two years old. Um, this is what we started out with first was the Carl T. Bourbon. Alright, that's the Funaki on your butt. Ooh, it's good. Nope. Just take a sip, take a sip. Well, it smells like rubbing out. Well, it pretty much is. It's got a good taste to it though. Yeah, it really is good. What is that? Uh, that is the Carl T. Whiskey. Here, you can try some. What is it? <laughs> God, that's good. Don't it. <laughs> it's not bad. It's actually kind of nice. Oh, God. <laughs> Once you get, but here's the thing: you got to get that second sip in. Sure, okay. It might not. Don't try. Yeah. Uh. There's nothing to beat my eyes. 
Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. <clears throat> all right, a little bit left. Here we go. <laughs> ah, but it's good. So that should have been like. Sorry. Alcohol aftertaste there. Should have been the uh, most uh, potent. And it's time to move on. This is from back in the day. And they. they uh, added rock candy to it. Back back in the day, people added rock candy to it. Yes. So it makes it a little sweet. It's ready to be an old fashioned. Add a little lemon bitters, and you got yourself an old fashioned. Eighty-seven proof. <laughs> Oh, oh. You think the other one was rubbing alcohol? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm good on that. I'm good. Yeah. What do we have for you then? Oh, no, that's yeah, I have no interest. <laughs> you tried that you just didn't like, what was it? It was the rye. It was the rye? Yeah. Yeah. That's the blackberry? Blackberry whiskey, yes. Let's see, man. Yeah, icing bar is always good. Yeah, I just can't do it. No. So this is the uh, blackberry whiskey. We're just up here. We're up here. It's pretty good. I enjoy it. It's not bad. It's better than the other one. Yeah, much better than the other one. The fruit helps. Let's be real. But it does have a little bit of that cough syrup taste to it. Because it's not. Would you like some of this? It's really good. I know exactly what it is. Yeah. Right, so I think we have one more. Yes, and this next one is Don's big selection. Next one's going to be a spiced rum. Mm -hmm. Spiced rum. Are you? Well, that was a good time in your month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Spice rum? Spice rum. Alright, this smells really, really good. Really good. It's not bad, not bad at all. No one else wants it. It's up to me again. It's all up to me. <laughs> Good stuff. But I am not here to buy that. I'm here to buy a specific wine, which I will show you guys. Here pretty soon. Thank you. So this is a rum punch that they make. Ooh, this is good. Lots of pineapple in it. It's very nice. No, but I think it's because it's it's bottles they don't even make anymore. You know, it's really good. It's like jungle juice. Remember when you were kid and get like the boxes of juice? Yeah, it's called jungle juice. Yep, tastes like jungle juice. I don't know. I like it. All right, gang, this is what I'm here for. I'm here for the Niagara. You can read a little bit about it right there. This right here is the best wine I have probably ever had in my life. Yay, Niagara. 
Alright. Now I gotta find a box to put it in. So there is no judgment, but I filled the entire case. So this bin of Niagara is a lot less filled uh, before Don and myself tackled it. When it comes to the Niagara, uh, the best way to describe it, and Don is the one who kind of sold it on to me, so we'll blame her, is that Niagara is like, it's like a honey wine, only it's not a over-the-top honey, it's just a light, very crisp honey wine and it's so cool you know you of course you refrigerate it before you uh, drink it it's just a great summer day wine don't know how else to describe it it's it's perfection and the only place I know where to buy it is here at the Hubert winery if you can find this wine you need to try it. It is a uh, Jeff exclamation point recommended. The sky is getting really dark. So that means it is time to go to the ice cream and cheese shop. Welcome to Cheese Heaven. And the prices here are so much better than the other ones. <laughs> yes. Don says, come here to get your cheese. Yes. And then you can get a whole Copa Jack for 2 dollars yeah. you can't even So we were looking at these at the other place fresh. where we had lunch earlier today, which I, I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys. But the same thing was like $2 and here is a dollar. So half price. Yay. So right now they're making me a latte, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to get. And I'm getting a baby Swiss cheese stick, All right. some sausage, and then a regular cheddar. But step on inside the farm market. It's full of fresh veggies. And our bakery is baking all kinds of treats. We have our seasonal homemade strawberry bread. It's the best. Thanks for spending your day with us. Come back soon. So it's kind of the strawberry festival right now, so of course they have some strawberry bread. But look at this. French vanilla muffin loaf. Like everything here looks amazing. Look at that, you got your rock candies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some strawberry rhubarb pie. Just look at that. Like all this stuff is baked here and it's like fresher than fresh. Oh. What is this? Old fashioned pot pie squares? Holy cow. Look at all these soup mixes that they have here. They even have apple cider. Oh my goodness, look at that. So we decided against picking strawberries today, uh, mainly for the reason of. Look at that. The weather, yeah. So don't want to mess with that, but you know, there's plenty of strawberries inside. If we wanted to buy them, we could. But I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Jeff exclamation point. So I bought <laughs> 12 bottles of the Niagara wine. I bought two little wine stoppers to go in there as well to help me out with that. Um, like I'm gonna need it. You know, once you open a bottle of wine, you just finish it. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this episode. If you're in the uh, uh, Indiana, Kentucky-ish area, come visit Hubert Farm, uh, Niagara. I'm going to enjoy that when I get home. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, please feel free to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe. Remember, there is a new video every single Tuesday. So, I will see all of you next Tuesday. Alrighty, take care. Bye!